now. Okay, with that public service announcement, we'll uh, get things kicked off. Uh, my name is Ray Paik. Uh, I manage the code contributor program at, at GitLab and welcome to, it's hard to believe I'm saying this, sixth edition of our quarterly hackathon, so last hackathon of the year. Um, exciting, uh, excited to see the continuous, uh, continued growth. Uh, so David uh, Planella and I will be uh, giving you a quick overview of the hackathon. Uh, we'll go through some slides, but if you have any questions, do feel free to stop us. Um, uh, either, I mean, you can voice your questions uh, verbally on the call or uh, type it in the chat window, so we'll answer it uh, in the real time rather than having to wait till the end. Uh, so, quick introductions. Um, so, let me go into a full screen mode, so hopefully you can see this better. Um, so I, again, I'm Ray. I'm based in California. Uh, so you you'll, you can see my Twitter and GitLab handles there. And David, I'll let you introduce you to the attendees as well. Hi hey everyone. Uh, I'm David, and uh, I've got the uh, privilege of working with Ray uh, and other program managers in the community relations team. I'm based in Europe, in Cologne, in the, in Germany. So uh, feel free to ping me if I can help with anything during the uh, during the hackathon. Uh, if uh, Ray is still on the, well, about to start this day, right? Yeah. So I I think we have like a good coverage being in two different continents. Uh, so uh, any questions you have, just feel free to ping both of us. One of us should be up and around, uh, be able to answer your questions. Uh, so thank you, David. Uh, so I'll quickly. Uh, go through the agenda. Um, uh, I mean, if you've been uh, participated in past hackathon or listened to previous recordings, the agenda should look uh, pretty familiar. Uh, we'll uh, do a quick reminder on the community code of conduct. This is uh, something we do at all of our events, whether it's virtual or face-to-face, -face, and we'll go through logistics and detail items on on the hackathon uh, real quickly. And like I said, in you don't need to wait until the end of the session for, for Q&A, so feel free to stop us if you have any um, questions. Uh, so on community code of conduct, uh, like all good open source project, we do have a code of conduct to make sure that we have a open and welcoming environment for everybody in the community. Uh, so you can, I'm not gonna go through the full text of the code of conduct, but you have a link there that you can visit. Um, I mean, we, Never had any instances that uh, during the hackathon. We definitely want to keep it that way. But even during or or even outside of the hackathon, if you have any concerns or or see something inappropriate, feel free to send an email to that uh, alias conduct at gitlab dot com, and that email actually comes to me and David. Uh, so if there are any concerns that we need to address, we'll we'll uh, jump on it right away. Uh, but I mean, this is. Again, I mean, there are, there haven't been any issues here. I don't want to raise any uh, concerns, but um, uh, each time we have events, uh, whether it's uh, virtual or face-to-face, -face, is a good time to sort of remind community members of our code of conduct that we want to adhere to. Uh, so moving on, a uh, couple of slides on logistics. Uh, obviously, we're doing a kickoff session right now. Uh, in about uh, 40 hours, we'll we'll have a wrap-up session, um, like a 2300 UTC on on the 14th. Um, uh, and in between those kickoff and wrap-up sessions, uh, we have a number of exciting tutorial sessions scheduled. Uh, we have speakers lined up for GitLab GL or Replication GitLab Manage stage. Miltano. Uh, not sure if uh, everyone's familiar with Miltano, but if you're interested in uh, data analytics uh, or if you're or even data scientists, I mean, that's something that you probably want to listen to and, and watch recordings of. I mean, that's uh, been gone through a lot of evolution over the past four, uh, four quarters. Um, so we're pretty excited about that session there. And then uh, we also have a couple of speakers to talk about our new GitLab Heroes program or initiative that, that you probably want to listen to. Uh, if you happen to miss any of these sessions, the recordings will be posted on our playlist. Um, and uh, feel free to check them out there. We, I usually try to post them uh, you know, within 30 or 45 minutes of session being over. So you should be able to find them there. Um, and last but not least, uh, if you I mean, if, if you haven't checked it out yet, I mean, go to our contributors Gitter channel. Uh, that's where you'll find 
um, I mean, not just me and David, but a lot of other contributors uh, sort of uh, being present there. Uh, a lot of questions unanswered that gets resolved. I mean, even um, I, I wake up in the morning, I'll, I'll go to the Gitter channel. On, I'll note that the question's been asked and it's already been addressed by somebody, somebody else in the community, which is great to see. So it's a great resource. So I encourage you to check that out uh in terms of uh support and and network even networking with other other community members um i'll move right along uh quickly i just want to show you the uh gitter channel if you haven't checked it out yet um last time i checked we're well over 360 people that are that are part of that uh that channel uh, I remember with our first hackathon a uh, little over a year ago, we had like less than 50 people on the channel. So we've seen enormous growth over the past uh, year or so. Um, and then if you need to individually uh, like uh, uh, ping us, I mean, feel free to ping like uh, David or myself, uh, Deep Planella or Arpeg. Uh, you can also do like a direct uh, messaging or individual conversations, so that's a good way to a good place to get our attention. Um, and and then uh, you don't need to even create a separate account or login. You can just use your existing GitLab ID to log in. So it, it should be pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, but it's it's uh, uh, it's like I said, it's a great resource, and I encourage everybody to uh, check it out if you haven't done so before. Um, and uh, before I pause for a minute, just wanted to uh, show you all these speakers that we have lined up for tutorials. Uh, like I said, we have uh, uh, speakers for Geo, the Managed Stage, Meltano, and GitLab Heroes. Uh, so Fabian Zimmer, he's a product manager for Geo. He'll be, uh, he might actually be uh, doing this uh, with the with another coworker of ours, uh, Ton, and in in the Geo team on the engineering side. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And then uh, you may have seen, if you checked out past videos, you may have seen videos on, on the managed stage, but there's been a lot of changes on, on managed stage with several different new groups that are underneath it. Uh, so the group manager for manage, uh, Jeremy, will be there with, uh, along with Kosia, uh, who's on the engineering side of things. So, uh, so there, there will be the two speakers. And, um, and on Multano, uh, Giannis, uh, I mean, he's got slides, which is already posted on the hackathon page, uh, but he's also going to do a live demo, uh, which uh, David and I have seen at, at GitLab Commit in London uh, about a month ago. So uh, I, I encourage you to uh, check that out. And obviously, a lot of you folks that are listening in or uh, watching this recording, you're, a lot of you have contributed to GitLab through code. Uh, but John and Emily will talk about other ways that you can contribute to GitLab, uh, whether it's like a speaking at events uh, about GitLab or, or writing blog posts and various posts on GitLab as well. Uh, so I'm excited to have both Emily and John come talk about uh, not only give you an overview of the HEROES program, but resources that are available that we offer to the HEROES. Um, so uh, you'll see uh, the various time zones for, for the sessions there, but if you happen to miss them uh, because of the time zone issues, I mean, watch the uh, live stream, uh, uh, I'm sorry, watch the, um, uh, the recordings later on. Uh, I'm gonna pause here. Uh, I think I spoke a little too much or a little too fast as well, but let me pause here. I mean, David, if, uh, uh, can, uh, did I miss anything here or fix anything else that we, that's worth pointing out? No, I think uh, I think that's uh, that's great. Um, I think one um, perhaps one thing to uh, and I think this you, you're going into this in the rest of the presentation, but um, feel free to check out the uh, if you're interested to see the progress of the hackathon. Uh, feel free to check out the uh, the hackathon page uh, on about.gitlab.com/community/hackathon, where you'll be able to see live uh, how many major merge requests have been uh, submitted. Um, it's a way to see uh, which things people are uh, are working on and how well we're doing in terms of comparing it with the activity with the, with the previous uh, one. It's it's a fun thing to watch as well. So I, I tend to do it quite often. Yep. Cool. All right. Thanks. Uh, okay. So moving right along. Um, so 
uh, merge MRs and prizes. Uh, so a couple of things we want to mention on, on the MRs. Uh, when you submit an MR uh, during the hackathon, I mean, feel free to mention me and David uh, so we can uh, add a hackathon label to the MR. Uh, I mean, I'll talk about this in a minute. Uh, I, the people in the APAC region got an early start uh, uh, on the hackathon. And the way I found out about their MRs were that and typically, they either mention me on, on the merge request or the other way that happened uh, uh, for, for this hackathon was that somebody just pinged me on Gitter. They said, hey, Ray, I just submitted an MR and it's for the hackathon. So uh, please try to grab our attention. And then uh, the hackathon MRs, uh, like David was, men uh, was saying, the counter will be on, on the main hackathon page. They'll be up in a, in a few minutes. And then we're, if you want to see an individual list of them, uh, you'll actually see it here. Uh, so I'm going to go off full screen for a minute. Uh, so we, I mean, believe it or not, we already at like a 14 MRs that's been submitted so far, which is amazing. Um, nice. So yeah, and then four of them are, have already been merged, which is cool. I mean, a couple of these were, I mean, three of these were like a documentation fixes uh, that I was able to merge my, myself. Uh, but yeah, so they'll be all be listed here after we uh, add the hackathon uh, labels. Um, so, I mean, please feel free to just ping us when you submit an MR. Uh, so let me get back to the slides here. Uh, oops, sorry. Um, yeah, and um, prizes. Uh, so there are, uh, as we've done in the past, like a, a two or three quarters at least, there will be three categories of prizes. Like anybody who has MRs uh, merged by uh, the deadline, I'll talk about it in a minute, will will receive a prize. And there'll be a grand prize for individual with the most MRs merged by, I mean, November 25th, basically. Um, but we also have a category for the second place winner. Uh, so I'll, I'll go over the prize in a minute. You may have seen it on the hackathon page. So uh, this worked out pretty well. Uh, and uh, for, I mean, for second prize and, and the merge MR prize, we were able to get a customized uh, prize that's not available on, on the GitLab shop. So, um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, so on the MRs, um, so in terms of submitting an MR, like we don't, we didn't want to do uh, anything like unnatural for community members. Like we didn't want you to have to think about like which time zone that you have to time your MRs in. Like we want to just have you continue to work in your own time zone that 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 you're in and you're comfortable in. Uh, so when you submit your MRs on the 13th or 14th, just do it in your own time zone, like w whatever hours that you work. Um, so, I mean, what happened was that like that, that person in India just, just created something like shortly after midnight on, on November uh, 13th and just ping me on, on Gitter, which is fine. Uh, so any window, uh, any 48 hour window between 13th and 14th in your, in your time zone is, is, is completely okay with submitting an MR. Uh, but we're going to have a strict deadline on when it must be merged by um, based on the UTC time zone. Uh, so 2300 UTC on November 25th. So you'll have uh, roughly about 10 or 11 days after you submit your MRs to get them merged. Uh, I mean, if you have any issues, uh, uh, for whatever reason, the review is not happening uh, quickly enough or there are any like a tooling issues or whatever issues that you run into, uh, if you feel like uh, you may need additional time for your hackathon MR, just let me know and we'll definitely look into it and uh, happy to make any exceptions if it's reasonable. Um, but just uh, just let us know at a time. Uh, but we'll be sending out reminders uh, through various social channels to have your MRs merged by November 25th. And the winners will be notified uh, via an issue. Uh, and if you go to the I mean, hackathon uh, project, and you'll, you, you'll probably be able to find the issues from the previous um, uh, uh, editions of hackathons. Uh, you'll probably uh, you'll get a chance to see how we announced uh, winners in the past. Uh, but uh, shortly after 25th, I'll create an issue with the list of the winners. Um, so. I think that's that. And then, yeah, in, in terms of prizes, um, so the grand prize, basically, you get to spend $100 at, at the GitLab store, which has been very popular. So you can uh, basically get any GitLab merchandise of your choice, uh, things like hoodies, um, uh, t-shirts, or other items that are, that are on shops. 
Uh, and the second place winner is, I mean, they call this a music box, but it, it's, it's pretty cool. It basically is a, a, a Bluetooth earbud plus a speaker uh, with a nice uh, GitLab design there. It looks, uh, uh, looks pretty nice. And, and people, uh, every, everyone with Emerge MR, uh, is, they call it a tech organizer. So on one side of it, you get to uh, organize your, I mean, various uh, cables like headsets and, and USB cables and, and other stationary items. So on, on the flip side of things, you're, you should be able to put your tablet in there in the this, in this strap. So hopefully you'll get to enjoy it. And again, that's, um, uh, uh, you know, it's got a, uh, it, we customize it with the GitLab logo. So um, cool. And those are their prizes. Um, and uh, just wanted to go. Uh, quickly go over the stats. Uh, I mean, in Q3, uh, I mean, about three months ago, uh, I mean, we basically blew past, blew past the previous record uh, in terms of the number of MRs that were submitted. Uh, so the blue graph shows the number of MRs that were submitted over the two-day period. And then, I mean, basically, in, uh, uh, you know, beat the previous record in Q1 of 2019 by like almost 50%. Uh, and people uh, had questions about how many merge MRs uh, were typically needed for the grand prize. So it ranged from between seven to 13. Um, but uh, yeah, so just wanted to give you a sense as to how many MRs were required to win the grand prize. So hopefully they'll give you an idea. Um, obviously, you know, want to see, see the continued growth in, in the number of MRs and it'll be awesome to uh, cross the 100 threshold in terms of MRs. Uh, I think that'll be a great accomplishment. Uh, but we're already 14 that's in, uh, and the hackathon just kicked off, so I'm, I'm pretty optimistic. I think there may be a question. Uh, let me see. Uh, how many people participate? Yeah, in terms of, uh, I don't remember the number off the top of the head, uh, top of top of my head, but uh, in terms of like the winners uh, for the past ha hackathons, it ranged between like the 20 to 30 people that we sent uh, Merge MR awards to. Um, so it, the number of people that actually participate are probably larger than that. Like there are people who submitted MRs but uh, didn't win a prize for whatever reason. Uh, but hopefully that answers your question. So let me type that in there as well. But uh, so that yeah, well, say, already I stated. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, um, I would highlight also that uh, as as uh, as he was saying, there's other people that participate not only submitting MRs, but there's people who are participating uh, on Gitter, for instance, helping um, uh, those who want to submit their first MRs, for in for instance, uh, or those who are commenting on uh, on issues, um, including uh, merge request coaches, uh, which are GitLab team members who help get this uh, this uh, merge request merged. Um, so I'd say it's uh, uh, it's difficult to say for uh, exactly, but uh, I'd say I don't know if uh, if we were to say like twenty to thirty people uh, working on uh, on MRs themselves, then perhaps you could have it up to fifty if you include those helping there. Yeah, thanks, David. I'm typing that into the chat window as well, so people can see it if they're. Cool. Okay. Um, so, uh, on, as we've done in the past, we also have like a number of issues that we suggest for a hackathon. Um, and then let me actually go back to this page where we keep track of uh, merge MRs. And in, in the section right above, uh, we have various uh, links uh, with uh, uh, links to suggested issues uh, that people can work on during the hackathon. And uh, what well, we also wanted to highlight, like a number of uh, engineers and even product managers have labeled certain issues uh, with, with the label first time contributors. Uh, so if you click on this link, like it'll get you to a query with, uh, with labels accepting merge requests and good for first time contributors. Um, so if you're interested in working on, uh, I mean, first of all, take a look at these list of issues and see if any of these uh, you might be interested in working on. 
uh, and just uh, just let us know, like like David or I know uh, that you're interested in working on this during the hackathon, and we can definitely like assign these issues to you uh, once you submit an MR. Um, so that's uh, one of the things that we want to highlight, and there are a number of whoops, sorry. Uh, there are several other issues here for UI, UX. I mean, if you're interested in like working on like a Maven or a container registry, there are a uh, few issues that you can you can look at as well. Um, sorry about that. Uh, having a problem with my mouse. Uh, but there are also issues that we we have like highlighted for more experienced users. Uh, but the two do take a look at those. I mean, they, these are just guidelines if you want to work on uh, 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 something else like uh, uh, issue that that's not on this list or I mean there may not be an issue that that's been open I mean that's completely fine we accept all contributions but we just want to give you a, uh, a, a guideline or 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 suggest a list that that you may want to take a look at if you have a hard time deciding uh, what to work on during the hackathon um, move on here uh, and David like already uh, covered uh, some of these I mean if I mean during the hackathon I mean hopefully David and I can answer most of your questions and we're, we're available when uh, when you have an urgent question uh, but there are other resources I mean Gitter we already talked about like a community members are definitely a good resource uh, and the merge request coach uh, uh, merge request coach that they've talked about as well if you're not familiar with who, who these people are I mean, there are a couple of links here that you can you can check out um, and and find out who they are and where they're based I mean these are GitLab team members but they are I mean specifically I mean volunteering to help with community contributions uh, and for whatever reason if your MR is not getting reviewed in a timely fashion or it just you know, fell through the cracks uh, uh, by even me and David. I mean, feel free to mention like a GitLab uh, merge request coaches by typing at GitLab-org slash coaches, uh, and then you'll get um, you'll get coaches' attention. And I'm actually in that group as well. So uh, if I happen to miss your MR, then I mean, this will get, definitely get my attention. So that's a good way to ping people if people are not being uh, responsive. Uh, and then uh, the final thing, you can also find the appropriate reviewers and maintainers of various GitLab projects by uh, going to this link in the handbook. Uh, it's a pretty long list. Um, uh, we probably have like over 300 engineers at GitLab right now, but uh, if you're interested in like, like which of the engineers are responsible for which of the stages of GitLab projects, uh, that's a good page to start looking at, it, although it's pretty long. Um, so I think that's uh, the end of the presentation. Um, David, anything else uh, I may have missed or anything else you want to bring up? I can't think of, can't think of anything else. I would say oh, uh, cool. really, good, uh, really good over the country. All right, thanks. And yeah, and uh, I'll, uh, any other questions that people want to like uh, ask uh, verbally or like a type on the on the chat window I'll give it uh, 30 or 40 more seconds for people to ask questions you may have uh, I mean if you happen to like forget to ask me a questions if you think of something later um, obviously just ping us on on uh, on Gitter uh, I'll be happy to answer them as well um, all right, just one more check on any questions or comments. If not, well, thanks for your attention. Happy hacking. And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you online over the next few days. Thanks very much. Thanks, everyone. Everyone. Bye-bye. All right, then. Thanks a lot, Fred. That was, that was really good. Thanks, thanks David. Bye. All right, cheers.